In this video, I'll show you how to find the inverse t function and use it to find a t critical value on a Casio graphing calculator. From the main menu, go to 2 to get into the statistics menus. Click F5 to go to distribution, F2 to go to the t distributions, and F3 for inverse t. Make sure that you have variable selected for data. If not, click F2 to get variable. The Casio calculator expects you to enter area, which is to the right of the T value you're trying to find. So if we have point 0.1 here, it will return to us the T critical value, which has 10% of area to the right of it with nine degrees of freedom, which would mean our sample size is 10. For a one sampled hypothesis test, N minus one is degrees of freedom we should get a positive t value. Our t value is 1.38. So that would be the critical value for a, an alpha of 10% on a one-tailed test, or for the upper-tailed critical value if we had a two-tailed test with an alpha of 20%. Pretty unusual if we did. So speaking of two-tailed tests, Let's say that I'm running a two-tailed test. I have an alpha of 10%. That means 5% of area is to the right of the upper tail. And let's say we still have a sample size of 10, degrees of freedom of nine. Now our T critical value is 1.833. This is the T which has 5% of area to the right of it with degrees of freedom nine. To run a lower tailed test to get the T critical value, which has 5% of area to the left of it, I'll need to enter 0.95 because that's how much area is to the right of that T critical. And let's again assume nine is our degrees of freedom. Now we'll get a negative result, minus 1.833. That would be the lower tailed T which has 95% of area to the right of it. That's how we use the inverse T function on the Casio graphing calculator. 